What's going on? It's Stranger, and welcome to another YouTube music production video where my mission is to help you succeed in making music. In today's video, we're going to be learning one of the defining sounds in liquid drum and bass. I don't know what the official name is, but I call it the liquid wobble. And producers such as Netsky or Netsky, Logistics and Artificial Intelligence have used this in some of their prominent tracks. But I'd say nearly every liquid drum and bass producer has used this bass in one shape or form. Now I'm going to show you two variations of the liquid wobble and you'll be amazed at how easy it is to make this sound and you can make it with virtually any synth. Now comment down below and let me know who are your top three liquid drum and bass producers. So I'm going to give you guys the presets for free in the link below. All I ask of you is to hit the like button, subscribe and share if you want to get more content like this. And by the way, I'm proud to announce that my liquid drum and bass production kit for Ableton is out now. I've been working on this for a couple months now, so I'm excited to bring it to you guys. The liquid drum and bass production kit is an Ableton project file where I take care of all the technical details for you so you can focus on making music right away. I provide you five modular bass presets and six instruments which have customizable macro knobs which allow you an infinite amount of variations and I also provide you over 200 MIDI clips for bass, chords, leads and drums and I'm currently providing it at an introductory rate for this week so make sure you grab it right away and also if you've ever picked up the jungle production kit then I'll be offering a discount for you guys just look out for it in your emails so if that sounds good to you then check the link below for my liquid drum and bass production kit okay without further ado let's get right into it Okay, so the first variation of the liquid wobble, I'm calling it the sine wobble. Now we're gonna be doing this with serum. However, as I mentioned, this is a simple sound and you can make it with virtually any synth. But since a lot of us have serum, then I'll be showing you guys with serum and hopefully you guys with other synthesizers, you can follow along. Now the basic concept of this sound is that there's two oscillators playing. And like many of the sounds we've programmed in the past, oscillator A will be playing the root note where oscillator B will be playing a higher note which we call the fifth. So to start I'm going to set oscillator A as a sine wave and then enable oscillator B and also set it to the sine wave. Now we're going to set the semitones up by seven and if you guys remember the fifth key up from the root is always seven semitones up. Now we're just going to shift oscillator B an octave up so he's playing a higher range. So now it's playing two tones. Now let's take a pit stop here. You can simply use the sound as is, as a liquid bass line. But we're going to take this one step further to make this a liquid wobble. And what we're going to be doing is assigning LFO1 to the volume to modulate the volume. So the first thing is let's set up our LFO. Now let's make sure it's on the trigger mode so that the LFO restarts every time we hit the key. Let's assign LFO1 to the level of oscillator B. Now you're going to start hearing the wobble already. Now to make it a little more pronounced, then start the level all the way down and then bring the mount up. Now adjust the rate to your liking based on your track, but a popular rate that is used in liquid drum and bass is the quarter note triplet. So just enable the triplet mode and then turn that knob over until you get that quarter note T. Now another popular rate would be the 1 8 triplet or the half note triplet. I encourage you guys to explore the different rates, even try the dotted notes as well. Now you may notice that we didn't modulate the volume of oscillator A and that gives us a 
consistent bass tone. However, you could totally modulate oscillator A as well and that just mirror oscillator B so you get that pulsing bass. So you can bring LFO 1 over. Now, optionally, you can bring the level down of oscillator A down to around 30% so it's not all the way down and then you bring the mount up so it goes does the wobble. So that's really up to you. There's different variations and options for you guys to customize it to your liking. And lastly, if you want to add a little more funk to it, you can add some glide to increase the portamental time and you may want to switch it to monophonic mode. Now, if you're getting some clicking in your bass, just increase the attack a little bit and then increase the release a little bit. Okay, so that's the liquid bass wobble using the sine bass. So now we're going to show you another variation of the liquid wobble using the sawtooth. Now the oscillator settings are exactly the same as in the sine wobble. So I'll let you guys figure that out. But basically I have two sawtooths and uh, oscillator B is playing the fifth. Now the only difference with this wobble sound is we're applying the LFO to the filter. So turn on the filter and then adjust the cutoff and bring LFO 1 over to modulate the cutoff. And then make sure oscillator B is also passing through the filter and then set your rate. And then adjust the cutoff and the modulation amount to your liking. You can have it high up like that, or you can bring down the modulation amount. And then try the different low pass filters. Use low pass 24 for a rounder sound. Increase the drive for a little fatness. Okay, so now that we have the bass sound, let's program in some notes. Now I'm using my liquid drum and bass production kit and here's all the different patterns that are available for this kit. I'm using this pleasant MIDI clip. So here's the bass line. Now I also have these uh, pads which are customizable. You can tweak them with the macro knobs. So you can tweak it to your liking for your track. Now here's some piano leads. Again, this is customizable as well. And then I have an assortment of drum patterns here. So let's hear the drums on its own. Okay, so let's hear the track all together. Alright, sounding nice and sweet. Okay, so let's try another variation with the sawtooth wobble. And once again, we're using some bass patterns from my liquid drum and bass production kit. And this pattern particularly is inspired by the caliber sound. <laughs> 
And here's some pad chords. Again, these are customizable. And here's some piano chords. Now I've provided you some compression and side chain options here. So let's turn those on to really push this piano. And then I'm using some drums from the production kit and then I've switched up some of the drums. So this is the sand that we have. Okay, so let's hear it all together. All right, so that was the liquid wobble bass. And as you can see, it's a pretty simple sound to make. You have two variations. You can either use the sawtooth or sine wave, and then it's simply applying LFO modulation to either the filter or volume, depending on which waveform you use. And then parameters such as the LFO rate, as well as the volume and filter modulation amount are up to you. So hopefully you follow this and you can start making some liquid wobbles. And as I mentioned earlier, you can grab the presets in the link below. And also if you like what I did with the liquid drum and bass production kit for Ableton, then check the link below for more information about it. And I wanna invite you to my Discord community where you can share your tracks for feedback and meet like-minded producers. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, keep practicing, and I'll see you at the next video.